I've created this very simple Alice world to show how uh, one can create a function on the world to return the object, say, that has the highest level. I have once again added a hare and a chicken to my scene, and on the chicken I have added a property called level. And for the chicken I've set it to 1, for the hare I've created the same property and I've, I've set it to level 10. You can of course always in your code set that to whatever is appropriate. When the world first method is called, I actually want to decide which one of these two has the highest level. I've created a function on the world called highest level. And what this does is I've created a variable that's an object. And then I go and I, I check to see, is the hare's level greater than the chicken's level? And if it is, then I set that object to the hare. If it's not, then I'm going to set the object to the chicken. Then I'm going to return that object to whatever called it. In this case, I, I'm sticking whichever object is returned by the highest level into this variable, which I also created here, um, into that variable so that I can use it. Once I've done that, I simply use the object itself. I have it turn left and at the same time say I've got the highest level. When this world is first run, because I've set the hare's value to 10 and the chicken's value to 1, the hare will be the one that's going to turn around and say I've got the highest level. So let's play the world and sure enough you see that it chose the hare. If I were to change the level of the chicken, to say 20, then when I run the world it's actually going to be the chicken that's got the highest level. Um, this has been a Professor Zelda video. You should be able to find the source code for the Alice world on the Professor Zelda website. If you want to know how to do something else, uh, please send me a request.